What's up, guys? Sophie Sos here with a brand new custom video and today we're going to be making some Gucci shoes. If you guys are familiar with the Gucci snake, it's this really really cool design that they've been putting on like their bags, their wallets, their shoes and honestly one day I'm going to have to pull the trigger and buy a Gucci snake product because I just think they're like freaking dope. So we're going to be recreating one of their like $500 to $600 shoes on a pair of Stan Smiths, which is literally like a fraction of that price. And I would say the difficulty level for this custom is fairly easy, and I know some of you guys are going to be like, this does not look easy at all. But you're going to see as we go through the video, it's going to be a lot easier than you guys would expect. As long as you take your time drawing it, and as long as you take your time shading it, just take your time in general, then you should be good. So I will have all the products that I use in the description below, as well as a link to purchase those products. So feel free to check that out. But without further ado, let's go. They say humans are social animals. They can't live alone. But you can live pretty well by yourself. I tell you, instead of feeling alone in a group, it's better to have real solitude all by yourself. Once we're done with all of our prep work, we're going to move on to mixing our colors. So we're going to need about six different colors and they are our green color for the Gucci logo, which is a mixture of flat black and green. Our next color is our dark red color for the Gucci logo as well and that is a mixture of chili red, red, and flat black. The next color is a lighter red for our snake and that is a mixture of chili red and red. Our next color is our dark gray color for the stripes of the snake and that's a mixture of gray and flat white. Our next two colors require no mixing and they are flat white and flat black. So what I like to do when I'm doing an illustration on the shoe is paint the surface white first. The reason that I do this is because I know the pencil isn't going to stick to the leather well. And you're going to notice that if you paint the surface white first, your outline is going to show up a lot clearer. The next thing we're going to do is use our masking tape to make our Gucci logo and the concept is pretty simple. We're just going to reference from a photo to see where we need to place our masking tape. Once we have the tape down, we're going to put a couple coats of our red and green and once we take the tape off, we should get a nice clean looking logo. So this next step is going to make or break your custom. This is the most important part and it's extremely, extremely important to make sure that you take your time and do your best drawing out the snake. You wanna make sure that it's the right size and make sure that it's centered. So what we're gonna do is reference from a photo and do our best to recreate the snake on the shoe. Keep in mind that your pencil does have an eraser so if something doesn't look right, you can always erase it and start over. So a ton of you guys have been asking me how I do my shading and there's actually a lot of ways to do this but basically what I do is take a strip of the background color as well as a strip of flat black paint and once I spread the two out you're going to notice they start to mix together and give us a darker version of our background color which is going to be perfect for shading. Now you're going to want to do this fairly quickly because the paint does dry really fast. Oh, oh.